Alright, hey guys, what is up? It's the Game Biscuit, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a story time video. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, if you don't know my story time videos, I don't do a lot of editing like I do for my other videos, mainly because it is just a story time and there's nothing crazy going on other than whatever I'm talking about. Another thing that I wanted to touch base on was that this story time takes place in VR chat, and I would really like to do more story times, probably most of them in VR chat again. I feel like being in VR chat, it seems like I'm actually talking to you guys, almost kind of like face to face but without actually you know using my face but um i just want to say that this video is not going to have the good quality microphone that i'm using right now because when i'm recording i have to use my oculus rift s mic so it's not good quality i am looking into buying one of those microphones that you can clip on the side of it but it's really good quality microphone so i can do more stuff like that i still recommend that you guys stick along for the story because the story is really interesting and it's really funny i'm joined alongside one of my friends kristana she has a twitch channel that she normally streams on. She's also got a YouTube channel. I don't know if she posts too much on YouTube, but most of her content on our YouTube is just of her drawing her art and stuff. She's really good at it. And I think that you guys should definitely go um, check her out. She streams pretty frequently, uh, most of the time VR chat. Uh, every every now and then she'll stream her doing a drawing, which is really cool. I think it would be nice if you guys uh, go show her some love like you've been showing me. But yeah, again, I'm very sorry that the uh, mic quality can't be as good as this Yeti that I'm using right now. I am using the stock microphone that comes in with the Oculus Rift S. If you guys end up not being able to make it through the video because of the audio quality, I'm very sorry for that. But um, anyway, guys, without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy the story about how me and my friends decided to go explore an abandoned place and almost die. All right, I'll put the fork down. I'll put the fork can... down. <laughs> Stab it in the ground. There we go. I didn't want to punch my floor. Okay, I was like, like that was so slow. And I'm like, why? Wonder why you're going so slow. Well, I also have a really small space, story. so if I bend over really fast, I'll smack my head off my desk. We already had that happen once, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh god, yeah. Uh, okay, so, chat is saying, can you guys tell a story? What story shall we tell you guys? Uh, from your college. From our college? Hmm. Hell, I wish I was still there, honestly. I don't wish because of the work, the work was ooh, awful. Ooh. What? The abandoned... The abandoned place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah. I mean, I don't really know how we should really approach that. So it was me, it was her, and it was our other friend JD. And um, basically, me and our other friend like went on a walk to the other campus, and we started looking into this abandoned um, hall. Like it was hella bad. Like it was caved in and stuff, and a bunch of stuff. But apparently, a whole bunch of stuff happened there. It was first like home for like the mentally unstable, is what it was, and then yeah. Before that, I think they they used it for testing something in like um, World War Two. It was uh, rocket propulsion, I think, is what it was. Was it? Yeah, it was that one. Yeah, which is really weird that it would become a freaking South Hall for a college, but uh, whatever, I guess. We ended up deciding looking more into it, and we wanted to go, like you know, explore it because why not? Exploring abandoned places is fun and it's cool to see. <laughs> so we ended up casing the place, like trying to find a good way to get in. We ended up finding a way in, but like we had to go through this really small hole. <laughs> so I tell them about how you got in. Oh, uh, okay. So I am I am small. I am like five feet. Um, I don't even know how you guys got in. <laughs> you guys are taller than me. Yeah, I'm but, like um... six one. She's like five something. <laughs> so there's this little little hole. Like I don't even. It was like a like a foot and a half by foot and a half i don't know but yeah. it was really small i mean going inside there's a drop yeah so, with a bunch like, of discarded items down at the bottom too yeah and and there's a chair there which also sign that other people have probably been there but i was crawling in my fat ass trying to fucking get <laughs> in and i fucking i lost my footing on the chair i almost fucking fell Yo, that scared the shit out of me because like I have short legs. <laughs> it was hard. It was difficult to get in. So, uh, <laughs> struggling. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Can't. Cr there we go. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. All right, con just don't mind me. Con continue the story, I guess. <laughs> so all I have to say really is that 
we explored most of it. Some parts we couldn't get to because the ceiling collapsed. But we did have some strange experiences there, paranormal wise. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, it was it was weird. Um, for me, anyways, I saw a figure, a white figure, on top of the staircase. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was my flashlight or one of their fa flashlights. But I moved to my flashlight. Their flashlights were facing the opposite way, and I was moving my flashlight to see if there was like the reflection or whatever was not i'm like what the fuck and it was in the shape of like a human it had like a human figure and so i just ran <laughs> i just yeah. went back to them like yeah. i'm not staying here <laughs> this place this place i had like it was three stories we we entered into the basement because we had to drop through like the window and then the one stair from the basement to the first floor was completely destroyed we had to climb up it and then i had to like lift her up and then we had to go across another like platform that was broken and we kind of like got up against the wall and like very carefully squeezed across it was very sketchy and i thought for sure one of us were gonna break through the floor because this place was really really yeah, really like run down indiana jones type of shit we had to go like yeah the place was really <laughs> really run down but um we got there and then our one friend decided to go up by himself for a second because we didn't even know if it was safe enough for all of us to cross and i waited back with her which was weird yeah. because right where she saw that figure was where we were waiting. So we were kind of creeped out. Yeah. <laughs> he went up. He started uh, looking around. We ended up convincing. Uh, I was playing Pokemon Go. Yeah, she was playing Pokemon Go next to me in the middle of this <laughs> abandoned place where she just saw like some weird ass thing. We ended up convincing her to go. And we got across. I helped her across. And we started um, walking around the first floor. Uh, just a couple classrooms. And then... Um, some bathrooms, which oddly enough, one of the bathrooms, well, actually a couple of the stalls had perfectly pristine looking toilet paper. I don't know like how everything. Fresh. Yeah, it looked fresh. Everything else in that place was completely destroyed, but the toilet paper was perfectly fine. Yeah, it, it, was, it was weird. Yeah, but there was only one place that we all agreed that was comfortable, and that was the record room. Like, yeah, the record most room in the record room. Yeah, we looked through some of the records. We couldn't uh, find anything too crazy. Eerie. Yeah, we couldn't find anything too crazy in the record room. Um, we were being extra careful about like asbestos too, because it smelled awful in there. You could smell it in the air. We like double layered up on masks and stuff. We probably should have had better masks, but honestly, I guess who cares? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's there's I a mean, chance that we yeah. there's a chance that we even like if the masks didn't work that we have like the asbestos and shit and like it'll start affecting our breathing. But it doesn't ever present itself until way further down the road. So I guess. If I get that, it's then fine. yeah, I'll, I'll know when it was from. But um, so yeah, after like the first floor, <laughs> which I think was where the record room was, I'm hitting you with my tail. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> we ended up going to the second floor, and then um, I don't think there was anything too crazy on the second floor. Yeah, just a bunch of poop. There was a lot of poop. Oh yeah, there was a lot of poop, a lot of bird poop, and a lot of raccoon poop, <laughs> stuff like that. And we saw the they, we saw the uh, pigeons too. Those pigeons kind of scared us because they like started like. Making the noise. pigeons scared us. <laughs> yeah, we were not We were just on... That was like right in the beginning when we were really on edge. And that was also when we found out that the entire roof on the one hallway was just caved in. And you could see straight out. Like you could see straight out into the night sky. Yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Pretty, it was like pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the pigeons, we were already on edge. And the pigeons started making like cooing noises. And we like jumped and looked over. And then that's when we realized it was just pigeons. Uh, once we got up to the, the first floor up, we couldn't go anywhere past like we could only explore half of the place because the other half was just completely gone all the floors had dropped completely through and then there was some really cool um really cool graffiti and stuff in there some cool art and stuff there was one that was like at the top floor in this really weird room which you could tell was probably like a room for like whoever was head of the house because it yeah. looked like an office and i mean it was up at the top so and I think that was the room that had like this really cool like skull that someone had um I think it was was it spray painted or I think it was spray painted. But there were some really cool and really weird um drawings as well. Uh we ended up finding yeah. what, what was it that we found? We found some kind of food that was just like super old and it was awful. I think it was it was something in a jar. I don't remember, I don't remember what it was. Crap, I'm trying to remember. I remember. 
We found some chip bags yeah. though. Oh yeah, there was definitely chip bags because other people had been there before us too. But there was there was actually no evidence that we could find that anyone had been there in the last couple years though. Like because even some of the chip bags that we found in like the Coke cans were like old labels. Yeah. Um I would have taken the toilet paper. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even like the germs are probably on it. You gotta wipe your ass with that. <laughs> you guys could have taken the toilet paper. You could sell it for like a thousand dollars when Corona started. True. <laughs> Just give them infected toilet paper. And then everyone would um, have fungus ass. Yeah, there was definitely um, there was definitely some weird ass noises too. We we went completely silent in the basement one time. We were just standing in the middle of a room, and we were just trying to see if we could hear or see anything. Because when we were in the basement, I completely forgot about this. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we were in the basement, after she saw that thing, we kind of, like, started hearing stuff. So we went quiet to see if we could, you know, hear anything or see anything. And when we are standing in the boiler room, we started hearing footsteps above us, like thumps. And we were like, what the hell is yeah. that? So we didn't even want to go up, but we we ended up going up anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was that was pretty creepy. Yeah, it. Ugh. Yeah, because spiders too. I hated it. <laughs> oh yeah, that was another thing too. While we were in the basement, I don't know how familiar you guys are with like, I don't know, nature stuff or like kind of stuff like that. But basically, we found for layman's terms, it's it's basically a zombie spider. There's like this fungus that can yeah. um, it can grow inside of an insect's like mind, and then it keeps it alive but it like gets this white coat over it and it just kind of it's basically zombified it doesn't really move much the fungus just lives off of it until the spider's completely dead and then the fungus dies but yeah it was really cool i got a picture yeah, of that i forget what it's called but if you look up some kind of like i swear if you look up like zombie fungus for insects or something I'm, i swear you'll be able to see it i just forget the exact name yeah me too like i i, I saw it in a freaking documentary like a month ago or something. I forgot what it was called though. Yeah, I think you but, were the yeah, one who that, found it actually. Yeah, yeah, because I'm looking out for every. Oh yeah, that's that's another me. thing with her. That's <laughs> that's another thing with her too. Is she she can be in the cleanest room ever. She could probably be in a freaking padded room and she'd find a spider. She instantly <laughs> just finds spiders. Box, yeah. Although I can't admit there were some really mm -hmm. big nasty big looking spider. spiders in there. Ooh. There's also a fungus out there that um can uh, it can affect um insects as well but like it'll make them climb to the to the top of a tree or to the top of what however high they can oh, get yeah. and then basically they just kind of explode and the spores come flying down onto other stuff and then it'll do it again to like whatever other insect it finds nature is fucked yeah i saw that um i mean there was like very active buildings and stuff near this place when we were getting in and getting out so like we had to case it a couple times to see if there was any cameras that were going to be able to catch us when we go in we ended up yeah. going in that <laughs> entrance because not only was it the easiest way in but it was also out of eye shot of like all the cameras and stuff i'm trying to think of anything else wasn't there oh there was there was a yeah we found a paper that it was like this pamphlet for um it was like a woman's cult inside oh, yeah. the yeah it was freaking yeah. weird <laughs> it was weird there was it was like an actual printed out thing of a women's cult that you could just go and meet and then talk about certain things it was really weird but what else happened there i ended up finding this really cool book it was like i'm assuming it was part of an art club or a photography club because there were some really cool um yeah. pictures in it like nice black and white and it was just really cool to be able to see the history like it's not that old but it's cool to see. I mean, personally, I think that stuff's cool. I love going to abandoned places and just learning from it. That place is actually more run down than we thought it was. So oh, it was yeah. actually pretty dangerous for us to explore. Yeah, I like <laughs> I said. we still fucking risk it because, you know, whatever. It was, it was very dangerous. <laughs> Looking at it from the outside, we knew it was run down. But it, we didn't know it was that bad until we were in it. Even the basement, like the steps and stuff that led from the basement right in that window that we went in completely destroyed yeah. there's a bunch of stuff all over the floor yeah. like when we were on the second floor and third floor like everywhere we were walking all the planks and stuff were shifting so we had to try staying away from really weak areas and just hope that the weak areas that we were already standing on didn't just fall right through yeah it was uh it was, was kind of scary not gonna lie <laughs> yeah i thought like 
one of us was gonna fall through. Yeah, I definitely thought that one of us was gonna yeah. fall through. I ended up kind of like just forgetting about it because we got so lost in the stuff that we were looking at, and then we got scared as hell <laughs> for other reasons. <laughs> that was so dumb of us to do. We could have just fell through, and we were like weren't paying attention. We weren't focusing on where we were stepping because we were so invested <laughs> in whatever we found. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't. God. Looking at it, looking back at it, yeah, it's dumb, but I don't regret a single thing. Like that was probably the most fun I've had in my entire life going out with like really good friends to True. go explore in an abandoned place it was just awesome i've i've explored abandoned places yeah, before but i've never before. yeah i've never had like friends to go do it with me so i've only done small stuff by myself but do do a prayer before you go in those things because we didn't do it the first time and some stuff happened yeah i actually because i ended up <laughs> okay no, n all right we didn't know if it was you know haunted or anything obviously we were just going to see it but after like looking into the history, I wouldn't doubt it if it was haunted. I mean, this place, the basement was used for rocket testing or rocket propulsion testing for World War II. And then it was used for housing the mentally, ch the me not challenged, mentally ill for like a while. So I, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it definitely, there's definitely like, it's possible. But my dumbass yeah. decided to take that book with me, the one that I was just talking about. And then I started feeling really uh -huh. weird in my dorm. And I was like, I don't know if I should keep this book. So I just kind of like tossed it. So, yeah. Yeah, I told you guys not to take anything. When you do, you I know, <laughs> it's like number one rule in like all scary movies. You never take something from Aww. this a haunted place. You, you could bring it with you or you could piss off its spirit. And what do I do? I take a book. Yeah, dog. God, <laughs> that was the only scene. I didn't one. claim to be smart. That was the only scene one <laughs> to bring across in Bible and holy water. Hell yeah, <laughs> we gotta do that next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. To pull the Ace Ventura, just yeet the cross. Take that, devil spawn. <laughs> I forgot about this scene. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's <laughs> that's our story of uh, the abandoned place. Yeah. Other college. than that, other than yeah. that, there's not really much to tell. I mean, we ended up going out the same way that we came in. But that's pretty much all we did in college. Really, the only really interesting thing that we did. Yeah, the only really super uh, interesting thing. I mean, we went out and hung out a few times, ate together sometimes. We. uh found a nice chill spot up on like i guess it was kind of not really like a gravel uh pit it's just kind of where they would toss old like parts of used roads and some gravel it's yeah. kind of like yeah uh, oh we made <laughs> we made a little grave oh yeah <laughs> we made a <laughs> Forgot fake about grave that. at the top of the gravel yo that was funny we went all out too <laughs> yeah we did we went really we went really all out because we ended up, like, taking a lot of the uh, black gravel and, like, stacking it. And then we got two sticks, and we stabbed the one stick on the ground, and we put the other one across for, like, a cross. And then I took, like, I put, I pucked some, um, it was, like, some kind of weed. And then I just used it to tie the um, sticks together so it would stay in the cross. I think we put some flowers on it, too. But then we found, like, all these white, like, crystal-like rocks, and we <laughs> spread it all the way around it. <laughs> And then we just, then we just like posted it on our snap and just said like, <laughs> rest in peace or something. Yeah, and we waited posted for people it. to just be like, yo, who died? Exactly. <laughs> I don't know how people fell for it, but like, I think JD had a few people hit him up saying, oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. And it's like, <laughs> it's funny because that, that friend, me and her met through that friend, but like me and her are both super fucking antisocial and we're really, really nervous about things. So yeah. we fucking met on VR chat. This is how we met. <laughs> Even though that we went to the same college. And we ended up meeting up, obviously. Yeah, we met like... Was it a week after we met in VR? Or yeah. was it two weeks? I think it was a week or two weeks. Yeah. Because we kept playing yeah. VR chat together like... to get to know each other more. And then it was like, alright, I guess we should meet in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Then you grew up in every... And everyone went uh, their own way at last, and then you guys died. Happy ending. <laughs> That's a fucking oh, sad God. ending. Um, it was like the first time that we met on VR chat that was a really long session, right? Yeah, we played oh, uh, yeah. on VR chat for like thirteen hours. It was thirteen Without, hours uh, straight. I have the Discord screenshot and everything to prove it. Like. It was 13 hours of us just talking. I, I don't know how I lost that much time. I've never spent that much time with anyone. Yeah, 13 hours. I, I had told myself I will get on, I'll meet her, talk about a few things, and then I'm getting off because I, I'm not gonna like 
I was too nervous. I didn't want to do it. And then all of a sudden, an hour passed. And then two hours passed. Then what do you know? 13 hours pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, so we spent, like, about six or seven hours in, like, a horror world. Um, yeah. Doing that stuff. That, that took us forever. Like, what, what was the average time? Was it, like, one to four the hours? Average, the average time was two to four hours. Two to four. It was, I saw yeah, a lot of people in between two to four. Forever. It took, we were the only ones that I saw that took six to seven hours. I have no clue. <laughs> we're struggling so much, yo. Oh, damn. Yeah, I couldn't do that. 13 hours, that's way too much time. Yeah, like, I was desktop, though. He was in VR. Yeah, I don't understand how you were able to last in VR she, for 13 she, hours. She was desktop. My dumbass <laughs> is standing in the middle of my dorm room floor in <laughs> VR the entire time. It was, it was yo. insane. How the fuck did we wake up at oh, like burn. 5 to 6 a.m.? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Because I think I got like one hour or two hours of We're sleep. in a public. Oh, no, it wasn't even like, an hour. We're in a public? <laughs> Wait, how much time how much, <laughs> how much time do you have before you have to get off? My class starts at 12.30. It's 12.27. Oh, shit, never mind. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right. Bye. Okay, I rise above the darkness, shit gets hard, but I get by. Yeah, my confidence is under, so I gotta stay fly. Third eye open, never.